Hi, it's Barry Campbell, uh, lead pastor at Highland Baptist Church in Redmond, Oregon. Uh, just doing a little video blog just to uh, communicate some things that sometimes um, there's not enough time on Sunday morning just to really have a chat about everything we'd like to talk about. And someone asked me a question last week that I thought I would really like to respond to. And the question was, you know, what are we as Baptists and we as a church doing to help out with the uh, humanitarian crisis down on the southern border? So I uh, just did a little bit of research and I found through our Baptist brothers and sister churches, sister churches that... Uh, are, we are doing some things that I think uh, are very helpful, and I'll tell you how we're involved in that. Uh, uh, first of all, I need to introduce you to someone. He's not here, but just tell you about someone. His name is Ronnie Floyd, and Ronnie Floyd is the leader of our Southern Baptist Convention. He's the guy that's not elected every year at the convention, but he's an employee, and his title is executive director. So he's the leader of this Southern Baptist organization that responds to, to things like this. And he's knew it. He's a pastor from Arkansas, really cool guy, really uh, really sharp guy, really passionate about reaching people for Christ. So Ronnie Floyd was, was talking about this, and he said he's grateful for churches and ministry groups, mainly in New Mexico, Texas, and California, you know, the, the border states, that are helping church, uh, that are helping with uh, migrants that are coming across the border just in unprecedented uh, numbers uh, this summer. And one of the things he said these churches are doing is they're serving hot meals and they're providing non-perishable lunches and of course a lot of hands-on ministry, but the ministry is being done in partnership. So churches come together and they do some things together that none of them could do apart from each other. And so those partnerships are what's most, uh, really most effective. And I want to tell you about one church, especially a church called West Brownsville Baptist Church and the lead pastor there is Carlos Navarro and Carlos, uh, Navarro has a Bible study that is in one of those uh, places where they have detained uh, young men and boys and he has a Bible study that 1,500 attend this weekly Bible study. They voluntarily come, 1,500 of them, and he said that now each uh, week they have seen about 200 or to 250 young men and boys come to Christ uh, every week. Isn't that amazing? Uh, he also told about some of the ways that this church is involved uh, in Brownsville, Texas. They have opened up their building as kind of an overflow for the just flood of people that are coming across the border. So he's opened that his church up and they are, are uh, converting their Sunday school rooms into shelter play, uh, spots. And they've had 1,600 in the last two months, just about 75 to 100 a day. Uh, that are that are flooding in there. He says we have uh, moms and dads with kids, we have single moms with children, and we have people from South and Central America, India, Pakistan, and Africa that they've had to come through. In addition to that, there is a disaster relief shower and laundry unit. So disaster relief would normally respond like earthquakes, floods, tsunami, hurricanes, you know, any kind of a national uh, here in the U.S., we have disaster relief teams uh, internationally, but this is the U.S. team, and so they're responding, and so they have a shower and laundry unit that is there, and a disaster relief bunkhouse where they can see, uh, sleep even additional people. And in addition to that, since May the 5th, disaster relief volunteers, that's our Southern Baptist Convention partners, disaster relief volunteers have served meals to between 600 and 1400 meals every day. And that's just in one place. That's in El Paso, where some of that ministry is located. So these are just, uh, we, we have a, a link that, that goes to a lot more uh, uh, information about how we're helping with the crisis on the Southern border. But just wanted you to know that there are some things happening, that our churches are doing a great job and we partner with them. The way we partner with them is that, the way we partner with them is that we, uh, actually send money by giving to missions. When we give to missions through our regular giving channels, 10% of every undesignated dollar that comes in at HBC goes to missions through a ministry called the cooperative program so that we're cooperating together. When we give to missions through that, we are contributing, uh, just like thousands and thousands of other SBC churches are contributing, we're contributing to this ministry uh, per performed by disaster relief, sponsored by the North American Mission Board and to local churches. So thank you, God bless you. Uh, 
Uh, look forward to seeing you this weekend. I'm preaching on Psalm 19 this coming uh, Sunday. Really excited about what God's going to teach us through Psalm 19. See you Sunday. God bless you.